There are two parts of Europe, one in Northern Europe and one in Southern Europe. These regions of Europe are called the Baltic and the Balkans. As well as both being in Europe, they have another similarity. Their names sound similar, both beginning with the Bal prefix and ending with a one word syllable suffix that contains a hard K sound. Baltic and Balkans. You know, I think I actually got them mixed up in a video once. Let me know which one as all these videos are starting to become a bit of a blur to me. So like we've done in the past with Austria and Australia, Iraq and Iran, Slovakia and Slovenia, and of course most noticeably with Thailand and Taiwan. Let's look at why these two parts of the world have similar names. So first off, I guess we should figure out what exactly the Baltic and the Balkans are. Let's go north to south and look at the Baltic first. There's actually a couple definitions of what Baltic means. There's the definitive Baltic states, which comprise of Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania. However, sometimes countries like Finland, Poland, Sweden, Russia, and sometimes even Denmark and Northern Germany are considered to be Baltic. Why is this? Well, it's because they all bordered the Baltic Sea, and the Baltic Sea is where the name Baltic comes from, making Baltic a hydronym, which is the word for a name of a body of water and it's probably one of my favourite words ever. I just love how it's a cheap pun of hyponym. The Baltic is named after the Baltic Sea, so where does the name for the Baltic Sea come from? Well it's believed to come from the Scandinavian Balta which means belt slash strait in reference to the narrowness of the Baltic Sea, especially at the sea's entrance way. It's also believed to possibly come from the Lithuanian Baltas which can be traced to its Indo-European root of Bal which means white and fair, which could be due to how relatively calm and fair the sea is for the most part. What's also fun about the Baltic Baltic sees the variety of names it has, and how its name changes depending on where you are. In German it's called the Ostsee, meaning East Sea, as it's East to Germany. But in Estonia it's called Lanameli, which means West Sea, as it's West to Estonia. Also this is a super big tangent, but if you're an Indian takeaway aficionado like myself, the Balti dish might be coming to mind. I mean, I'm personally thinking of Indian takeaway most of the time, but I think that says more about my diet than you guys. This name comes from the Hindi word for bucket, as the dish is often prepared in a deep bucket-like pan. It has nothing to do with the Baltic state or sea. Anyway, moving along from my takeaway order, let's look at the Balkans. Now, the Balkans isn't as easy to define as the Baltic. There are many definitions as to what consists of the Balkans. I've done my research, but if I ignorantly say your country is part of the Balkans and you feel it isn't, then I apologise. In a geographic sense, the Balkans is considered to be a peninsula in southern Europe. Countries that are generally considered to be part of the Balkans are Albania, Bulgaria, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Macedonia, Montenegro and Kosovo which you guys can argue about in the comments whether that's an independent state or not. I'm from the UK, the UK recognises it as an independent state, so that's my personal perspective. Countries considered to be partially in the Balkans are Croatia, Greece, Romania, Serbia, Slovenia, and even Turkey partially. Regardless, what is and isn't part of the Balkans isn't what this video is about. We are here to look at where the name Balkans comes from. Well, the name is believed to come from the Turkic language word Balkan, which means mountain, in reference to the Balkan mountain range that crosses from Bulgaria to Serbia. In the same way the Baltic is named after the Baltic Sea, the Balkans is named after the Balkan Mountains. So why do these two areas of land have similar names? Well, while there isn't a language connection between the two, there is something of a geographic connection between the two, in the sense that the two areas are named after geographic locations, one being named after a sea and the other being named after mountains. It's a fairly common practice to have places named after features like this, with the Baltic and the Balkans being two more examples of this. This time Time, however, thanks to their languages, it led to these two areas having similar names. The Baltic was suggested by Robert Hurst and Max Baker over on Patreon, and thanks to their suggestions, they will now be honoured as Name Explains Patron Saints of the Baltic. If you want to become a Name Explained Patron Saint, then why not support the channel on Patreon? Just a dollar and up earns you the chance to suggest a country or geographical location on the Wednesday Patron Saint Suggestion Post for the next Patron Saint video. And of course, thank you to all my patrons. These extra Tuesday videos are dedicated to all the awesome patrons who make Name Explain possible. So if you enjoy these videos and want to be a greater part of our Name Explain community, then why not support the channel? Just $2 a month gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you.